Back live, the intense cross-examination has been riveting as accused capital murderer Jody Arias has repeatedly been reduced to a sobbing wreck by District Attorney Juan Martinez. But some say that uh, Mr. Martinez has gone too far. We report, you decide. Ma'am, were you crying when you were shooting him? I don't remember. Were you crying when you were stabbing him? I don't remember. How about when you cut his throat? Were you crying then? I don't know. So take a look then. And you're the one that did this, right? Yes. And you're the same individual that lied about all this, right? Yes. All right, me and my next guest, former prosecutor Monica Lindstrom, knows uh, Mr. Martinez as well, having worked side by side with him in the Maricopa County DA's office. She's a former prosecutor. Defense Attorney Mel McDonald, who I worked with back in the 2020 days, knows uh, Prosecutor Martinez as well, having tried several cases against him. So, Monica, you first welcome both of you, first of all. Uh, so, Monica, has he gone too far or is he scoring the right points in a capital murder case? What do you think of his style? I, I think he's doing the right thing. I think when he first started, it's he probably put off some of the jurors because he's a strong male personality and going after a female on the stand. Sometimes that can be a little touchy, so some of the jurors probably got put off a little bit. But as he kept going, I think they just said, you know what, this is what needs to happen. This is a death penalty case, and she brutally murdered this man. And something else to think about is he might be doing this on purpose, because part of her defense is that she was weak and mild-mannered, and she was controlled by uh, Travis Alexander. Well, Juan is essentially showing that she can stand up, she can defend herself, she argues with him, and she points out when he's wrong. So where's this mild weak-mannered woman that supposedly is there. She doesn't exist, and she's shown it over and over again when she's arguing with him. I, 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 well, what do you think about the death penalty? Before I go to Mel, Monica, do you think that uh, uh, that, you know, Arizona jury is better than I do. I, I did go to college there, but aside from that, uh, are they going to send this woman to her death? You know, it's a very personal decision. There's nothing that says that they have to. But if they want to and if they believe in the death penalty, they have more than enough reason in this case to do it because the stab wounds, a lot of them were to the back of him. She practically decapitated him. And there's not very much evidence, if any at all, that he abused her in any way. So if there was a case, it's this one, and they have enough to do it if they decide. Uh, Mel, uh, you could start there. Do you agree that this this is going to be a death penalty case that she will be sentenced uh, to forfeit her life for uh, the crime that she admits uh, committing? The entire case is not about guilt or innocence. It's about death versus a life sentence. I don't think anybody looking at the ferocity of the acts committed here could see anything else. That is where I think Mr. Martinez has been helpful in many respects to her. If you're, if you're the attorney standing in their shoes, by putting her on the stand, they had to put her on the stand to put, try to put a human personality to her, and then having her savagely attacked at times and sometimes going ad nauseum, trying to have him beat her up, I think can create some sympathy. And then by trashing the decedent as he has done throughout the case, what they're looking for is one or two voices to gain some uh, compassion for her and not uh, give her the ultimate penalty. Uh, that's, they want to do something to keep 12 people from saying, give her death. You know, there are entire websites, uh, Mel, devoted to uh, uh, Jody Arias. They're saying innocent. Of course, uh, that'll never happen. But uh, I would assume that somebody on that jury is going to be reflecting the opinion that thousands of people on the Internet are expressing uh, that, for instance, this guy was so aggressive. What's the line between aggression and, uh, uh, you know, really assault? Uh, can't you make a case not of innocence, of course not, but uh, that uh, she killed him so viciously for fear that he would come at her and much bigger man and all the rest of it, Mel? I think the problem is, is that her credibility has been so tarnished that she's incapable of belief. Uh, the three different stories that she gave, and as she's gone through this case, 
creating and fabricating letters to the family and putting on this image that was all a farce, I don't think there's any way to rehabilitate her testimony. So all they, I think they can hope to do is to, through either the aggressive behavior of Martinez or hoping that they'll buy into some of her arguments that the decedent was a pedophile or that he was abusive, I think she's got a real problem in selling just about all of that. Monica has said this will be a death penalty. Uh, what do you say? I'd say the odds are very high, and if they get it, they will get it in spite of Martinez. All right, so if you were going to give Martinez a letter grade quickly, uh, you first, Monica? A. And Mel? C. <laughs> I, I, I fall in between. I'll give, him a, I'll give him a B. I want to thank you both, Monica Lindstrom, uh, Mel McDonald. Thank you uh, both for coming on. I just.